If you like our video, click the button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides, visit us at www.teachucomp.com. You can easily add a watermark to a PDF document in Acrobat. Digital watermarks in Acrobat help show a document's copyright information, author, or even a logo. To add a watermark to the currently opened PDF in Acrobat, either click the Edit a PDF link in the All Tools panel, or click the Edit link in the top bar to show the Edit panel at the left side of the screen. If needed to expand the list and show all the content choices, click the More link under the Add Content section in the Edit panel. Finally, Click the Watermark button in the Edit panel and select the Add command from its drop-down menu to open the Add Watermark dialog box. To apply saved watermark settings in Acrobat, select the name of the saved watermark settings from the Saved Settings drop-down. Alternatively, to specify individual settings for a new text watermark, select the Text option in the Source section Click into its adjacent text box, and then type the watermark text to show. As you type, the text appears in the Preview section to the right. To change the watermark font, use the Font drop-down below the text box. To change its font size, Select a choice from the Size drop-down. To underline the watermark text, click the Underline button. To change the font color of the watermark text, click the Font Color box and then select a color from the drop-down menu. To align multiple lines of watermark text if the watermark text contains multiple horizontal lines, click either the Align Left Align Center, or Align Right buttons. Note that Acrobat applies watermark text formatting to all text within the watermark and not to selected text within the watermark text box. Alternatively, to create a watermark from a picture or existing PDF page in Acrobat, click the File Option button in the Source section of the Add Watermark dialog box. Then click the adjacent Browse button and use the open dialog box that appears to navigate to the file to use as a watermark. Then click it to select it, and then click the Open button in the dialog box. An image of the selected file then appears in the preview section. If you selected a PDF file, choose the PDF page to use as the watermark by using the Page Number Spinner box. If needed, to specify an absolute scale of the selected file, type a value into the Absolute Scale Spinner box. To then adjust the appearance for both text and image watermarks, use the tools in the Appearance section of the Add Watermark dialog box. To rotate the watermark in Acrobat, choose an Option button in the Rotation section. If you select the Custom Rotation Option button, then enter the custom rotation in degrees into its adjacent spinner box. To set the watermark's opacity percentage in Acrobat, type it into the Opacity Spinner box or use its adjacent slider to set its opacity percentage. 25% is a good opacity level for many watermarks. To set the scale of the watermark relative to its PDF page, check the Scale Relative to Target Page checkbox, and then enter a scaling percentage of the page size to apply into the adjacent spinner box. To set whether the watermark appears on top of the page content or behind the page content, select the Desired Option button in the Location section. To set additional watermark appearance options in Acrobat, Click the Appearance Options hyperlink to open the Appearance Options dialog box. Then check or uncheck the Show When Printing, Show When Displaying On Screen, 
and or keep position and size of watermark text constant when printing on different page sizes checkboxes to enable or disable each setting as desired. Then click the OK button in this dialog box to apply the additional options. To manually position the watermark in the PDF page in Acrobat, type values into the Vertical Distance and Horizontal Distance spinner boxes in the Location section. Then select a unit of measurement for those values from the adjacent dropdowns for both. Then choose the anchor point in the page from which to measure each distance by selecting one from the adjacent From dropdown for both. By default, Acrobat adds the watermark to all the pages of a PDF. To change to which pages in the PDF Acrobat applies the watermark, click the Page Range Options hyperlink in the upper right corner of the Add Watermark dialog box to open the Page Range Options dialog box. To specify a page range, select the Pages From option and enter the first page number. Then enter the last page number in the page range into the adjacent To field. To apply it to All Pages, instead select the All Pages option. To apply it to only odd or even pages in the selected page range, select the desired choice from the Subset dropdown. Then click the OK button in the dialog box to apply the watermark to the selected PDF pages. To save the current PDF watermark settings in Acrobat to easily reuse them for other PDFs, Click the Save Settings button at the top of the Add Watermark dialog box. In the Save Settings dialog box that then opens, type a name for the saved settings and then click the OK button. To apply the current watermark settings to the currently opened PDF, click the OK button in the Add Watermark dialog box. To edit an existing watermark in Acrobat, Click the Watermark button in the Edit panel and then select Update from the Buttons drop down to open an Update Watermark dialog box, which is the same as the Add Watermark dialog box. Then make any changes to save and click the OK button to apply them. To remove a watermark from a PDF in Acrobat, click the Watermark button in the Edit panel and then select the Remove command from the Buttons drop down menu. Then click the Yes button in the confirmation message box that appears to confirm your choice to remove the watermark. Remember to click the Subscribe button to see more of our videos. See our full suite of courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides at www.teachucomp.com.